A new mystery tonight. Wildlife resource officers are trying to figure out why dozens of birds drop dead out of the sky at the same time in Spring Hill. It was an eerie scene, as you can see here, with more than 50 birds on the road. Rachel Irby sent us this video. Wildlife officers bagged some birds and took samples, but they say they've never seen anything like this. We'll continue to follow the latest developments on this story as we wait for results from testing. The president's office said on Wednesday, flash floods have killed at least 38 people in northwestern Tanzania after strong winds and hail battered villages. At least another 82 people have been injured in the floods that occurred in the Shinyanga region on Tuesday night. Gravel roads and houses were destroyed, the president's office said. Local media quoted police saying the floods had also destroyed food crops Strong winds and heavy rain have resulted in the deaths of at least two people in Italy. The central region of Tuscany has been one of the worst areas affected. Local authorities have closed roads, while in Lazio, flooding and uprooted trees blocked routes into the capital. At Pasiris Beach, east of Singapore, and as you can see right behind me, a row of rotting fish and other kinds of marine creatures which have been washed up here since last night. According to the Agri-Food and Veterinary Authority of Singapore, the mass deaths of fish is the result of skill damage caused by plankton, microorganisms that you can find in seawater. Three people were killed after being crushed by a mudslide, which was triggered by heavy rainfall in Peru's vast Amazon region on Wednesday. Elsewhere in the country, mudslides and floods also destroyed several houses in the town of Tarapoto, while heavy rainfall flooded homes and streets in the town of Juliaca. Water pumps were used to help clear the streets, but the volume of water was just too much. There's a fifth consecutive day when the Kashmir Valley has been completely cut off from the rest of the country by road. Unpredictable rains and snowfall in the last few days have resulted in a number of landslides along the 300 kilometers of the Jammu Srinagar Highway. Bad weather has also been hampering work that has been ordered to clear the highway. Thousands of passengers are stuck in different locations. The valley is also now facing shortage of essentials. Hundreds of stranded people have uh, also protested at the Jammu bus stand. Now to the dangerous and deadly storms on the roads and on the tarmac tonight. The NTSB on the scene here in New York after a Delta passenger jet making a landing could not stop on a very slick runway. Crashing through that fence, the nose of the plane breaking through coming to a halt just feet from the icy water. This image taken by a passenger inside the plane looking out how close they came to that water. Moments later, the crew with fuel leaking, getting passengers off the plane, coming down the wing, standing out in the snow. There were also deadly accidents today. Drivers stranded for miles, some up to 16 hours. The governor of Kentucky declared a state of emergency today. Parts of the Commonwealth got as much as two feet of snow, bringing highway traffic to a the stop. The line of stranded tractor trailers stretched down the highway for 40 miles. Icy roads caused several accidents that shut down two major highways in Kentucky, stranding more than 600 vehicles overnight. Heavy snow added to the misery on I-65, and traffic on I-24 was disrupted from the Illinois state line to the Tennessee border. Governor Steve Bashir has declared a state of emergency and deployed the National Guard to help stranded drivers. The stunning landscape of Patagonia, set against the backdrop of smoke, the product of Argentina's worst ever forest fires, raging now for weeks. Teams of planes relay out to combat the fires which are remote but visible from local towns. They detect fires by satellite or simply follow the smoke spiraling up. Some 240 firefighters are working in small teams on the ground to stop the fire spread. Most have left their jobs and families to be here to help.
Thousands of residents across Western Australia have reported a mystery fireball that has been spotted in the sky. Callers flooded talkback radio and social media to report their sightings, some of which were even caught on camera. A winter wonder washing ashore. Ice chunks as big as cars floating into Cape Cod Bay. The frozen blocks of snow looking more like icebergs as they make their way onto Wellfleet's beaches. The mounds of ice on the beach, they're just showing you how unusual this winter has been. It's hard to believe that we are in wealthy Cape Cod when you're standing on huge chunks of ice like this one. This piece of ice is about 10 feet wide and a few feet tall, and people around here are simply amazed. Sigue temblando muy fuertemente. Está temblando en Bucaramanga. Es uno de los temblores más fuertes que ha habido. Sigue temblando en Bucaramanga. Sigue temblando muy fuerte. Es un te... Pero para dónde... A 6.2 magnitude earthquake hit Colombia, shaking buildings in several cities, including the capital of Bogota, where the residents poured into the streets, but there were no immediate reports of damage or injuries. Well, a lot of you calling us, tweeting us, and Facebooking 7 News about this bright light seen streaking across the sky over Colorado early this morning. You can see it streaking across the sky. Now, most meteors last just three to five seconds. This was taken in Fort Collins around six this morning, and you can see it lasts much, much longer. Home video shows a ball of light streaking across the Fort Collins sky. Similar sightings poured in from Nebraska, South Dakota, and Wyoming all reporting a bright fireball with a glowing green tail. These snowy shots were taken in Capricota, Italy during the first week of March. Their impressive snow totals may rival a record snowfall from the 1920s. According to an Italian meteorology website, 100.8 inches of snow was measured in about an 18-hour period on March 5th. That's over five inches per hour for 18 straight hours.